and we gain access to that light through mechanisms that he has provided to us. So there's, there's the light of Christ, and there is the Holy Ghost, and the scriptures talk about these concepts a lot, and they use a lot of different phrases and a lot of different a lot of different terminology to talk about these these same concepts. So it can actually be a little confusing at times reading the scriptures to know what exactly is it it's referencing here. Because let let's think about it. We have we have the light of Christ. We have the Holy Ghost. We have the Holy Spirit. We have the Spirit of Christ. Sometimes just the Spirit. So that we have all these terms that are are being thrown around and often used interchangeably. So you're telling me 40 minutes into the podcast, we're finally getting to what we meant to talk about 40 minutes ago. (laughs) (laughs) No. (laughs) What I'm telling you is, this is important. Okay. This is important. (laughs) We're getting to what is the light of Christ, (laughs) starting with that finally. (laughs) So it's all very similar, right? And if you just wanted to stay high level, you could say, it all serves for our good and and our, our growth and our eternal progression. And But there are two main concepts. There's the light of Christ and the Holy Ghost. And the main, differ, uh, the main difference is the Holy Ghost is a person. He's a, he's a personage of spirit. He's a member of the Godhead. So... When we're talking about the person of the Holy Ghost, regardless of the word that's being used, it's always the Holy Ghost. And then the light of Christ, well, we have, uh, let's see, we have actually have a scripture here. Moroni 7 talks about this, uh, verse 16. Behold, the Spirit of Christ, again, using a different term, but the Spirit of Christ, or the light of Christ, is given to every man that he may know good from evil. Wherefore I show unto you the way to judge, for everything which inviteth to do good and to persuade to believe in Christ is sent forth by the power and gift of Christ. Wherefore you may know with a perfect knowledge it is of God. So the we know that the light of Christ, at bare minimum, is given to every man. It's something that we have something that has been given to us. And we know that the Holy Ghost is a member of the Godhead, is a personage of spirit. So regardless, when you're reading the scriptures and these terms are used interchangeably, we have to use the context a little bit to clearly understand which which concept, light of Christ, Holy Ghost, is, is being referenced. And that will help us to interpret the scriptures in a way that's a little more applicable in our daily lives.